Hey, Tom here from Oakenspore. Just thought I'd give you guys a wee update on um, how I'm getting along with my incubation room. Um, have a quick look around. You can see all the walls are covered, uh, the roof's done, and I have now insulated the carpet. Sorry for the mess down here. I'm working in here. Um, I did some trials. As you can see I've got it myself an Inkbird controller, um, which will control the room. Unfortunately, it's American plug, so I have to use adapter. Um, but I did some trials and I was losing, I may have spoken about it in the last video, I was losing temperature fast, two degrees in six or seven minutes. And I, I tested it overnight to see um, see how much it would cost me to run. And to keep it at about 22 degrees overnight, it was costing about about two and a half US dollars, or about three dollars fifty New Zealand. So that was too much, so I've been working to uh, uh, make the room more thermal efficient and um, therefore more cost effective for me. So I've actually been going around and sealing up all the gaps in the roof um, and insulating the floor, the concrete floor. I think there was a lot of um, conduction of cold air coming off the concrete floor, which is also cooling the room down. So I've done all that and last night I did a test run, but I bumped the, the temperature down to 19 degrees to keep it at that. And, um, in the morning it had only cost me 60 cents to run overnight so that's going from three dollars fifty new zealand to 60 cents new zealand which is about 45 cents american so that was to keep it um at the temperature at night when it's cooling down outside today it got to about 25 degrees outside um so the room did heat up to 25 degrees so i'll have a, an air conditioner which kicks on and bumps that temperature down during the day but i hope I mean, I hope I can keep the price to, to sort of under a under dollar fifty a day to keep this room at temperature. Um, I've just finished building a big rack. This is the first. Um, I'm trialling. It's going to be quite uh, tight on space. There's only a 40 centimetre gap between here and here. Um, and my bags are actually quite... Here was a bag. <laughs> bag's full there. So there's a bag there. Hold up, bud. Film. So as you can see it's quite tight in there, but once they're all in there, I tend to lie them over and hopefully we can get a bit of airflow um, through there so they don't overheat. I probably should have done four levels, I've got five, one, two, three, four, five, I probably should have done four but I was being a bit greedy and I kind of want to get as many bags in this room as possible. Um, with stacking on five shelves there'll be one, two, three, four of these units. Um, I can get just over a thousand bags in here, which I'm hoping to do. So, um, yeah, finish this one, get them all stacked on there, and then um, get the others made. But after we sort this room out, we'll be moving to our fruiting chamber, which I haven't started yet. Um, but I am in the process of, as you can see down here, I've got a shitload of shiitake bags being made so far. Doing 24 a week, which I'll double to, to 48 per week. Um, so they're two and a half kilo bags, so 48 two and a half kilo bags per week. Um, we'll see how we go with that. Alright, have a good one.